we're back and here's another five terrible TV shows as chosen by you, the viewers. Good night, sweetheart. Tuesday at 8.30 on BBC One. Okay, good night, sweetheart. Um, actually, not technically chosen by a viewer, but I'm including it anyway because look at this karate fella says if you're looking for bad new comedy shows try the new Frasier it's absolute rubbish the worst thing Nicholas Lindhurst has ever done and I've seen Good Night Sweetheart so I'm going to choose Good Night Sweetheart instead because I hate it it's rubbish it follows Gary Sparrow portrayed by Nicholas Lindhurst living life as a TV repairman in 1993 whilst grappling with his marital challenges with his ambitious wife Yvonne he happens to discover a time portal in London's East End during a service call and Gary ventures into wartime London where he encounters Phoebe Bamford, a barmaid at the Royal Oak Pub, and her father Eric, the proprietor, and Reg Deadman, a friendly constable. Establishing a relationship with Phoebe, Gary manages to figure out how to travel between the 90s and the 40s through this portal with the assistance of his friend Ron, providing financial support and forged documents. You mean you were married to this Marilyn Monroe? Mm. <laughs> well, you never said you were married to her before. You just said you went out with her. Oh, I don't believe I'm hearing this. I suppose you've got kids and all. No, of course not. Then why should I believe you, you two-time creep? No, look, Phoebe, look, I don't love her. You really come all this way because you were jealous, did you? Well, you were so offhand and snotty when you found my suitcase. I mean, I told you I was planning a surprise party, and you treated me like dirt. There's one small nook, and I couldn't afford any crannies. <laughs> Is it your birthday on Friday, then? No. That's why it's such a brilliant surprise. And do you remember those adverts that Lindhurst was in? Was it Argos or something like that, where he was every character, and it was just weird? I've made a hash. You're not kidding. If you need help in the kitchen, Smiths are offering three for the price of two on selected cookery books, magazines and videos. For madame et monsieur, dans à l'orange. And for you, haricot blanc à la sauce tomate. What's that? Baked beans. Whatever you're into, get into WH Smith. Well, I'm not into that, that's for sure. God, even the opening titles are rubbish. May to December. So actually, this is a video that was quite some time ago, an A to Z of British 90s sitcoms, where Vicky Matthews 1358 says, Sitting pretty and May to December. These were a couple of my favourites at the time that were not mentioned. I'm not sure how they'd stand up now. Well, I'm going to steal this and I'm going to stick May to December in as a terrible one. May to December was... A supposedly beloved British sitcom that aired 39 episodes in 89 to 94 on BBC One. It centres on the romantic relationship between Alec Callender, a widowed solicitor portrayed by veteran actor Anton Rogers, and a significantly younger woman named Zoe Angel, or Angel, I can't remember, and I'm not going to watch it to find out, played by Eve Matheson in the first two series and Leslie Dunlop in the subsequent four. It garnered critical acclaim, it received BAFTA nominations as well for Best Comedy series in 1991 but it was dreadful it was absolutely dreadfully boring and dull and terrible do they often cry like that miss flood those stains on his carpet are not coffee hillary they're mascara <laughs> <laughs> thank heavens for people whose names begin with a z are they uh, still uh... yes he's still having his milky way with her <laughs> <laughs> and don't be sorry uh, just just leave it here will you uh, Hillary. <laughs> uh, this'll fox you. Yeah. Divorce me, darling. <laughs> oh. Uh. I've never seen a solicitor before. Well, as bad as that, is it? Pretty bad, in my opinion, yes. He's got his mother's eyes. His mother's smile. His mother's Lee hair. Sherman 5192 asks, Does anybody remember Fox's Get Smart revival with Andy Dick? Trick question. Nobody does. Not even me. 
Well, Get Smart was an American sitcom sequel to the original 1965 to 1970 NBC CBS series. It brings back the iconic duo of Maxwell Smart and Agent 99, portrayed by Don Adams and Barbara Feldon, respectively. The show aired on Fox, occupying the Sunday 7.30pm slot for seven episodes in 1995. In this iteration, Maxwell Smart now serves as the chief of control, whilst Agent 99 has transitioned into the realm of politics. Their son, Zack portrayed by Andy Dick, emerges as Control's standout agent, alongside the reluctant Agent 66, played by Elaine Hendricks. Together they endeavour to thwart the schemes of chaos, who seek to manipulate the global economy. He's got his mother's eyes, his mother's smile, his mother's hair, but he has his father's job. Get ready for Get Smart Evil. Not in front of your mother, son. Oh, man. Coming to Sunday, this January on Fox. Hasselhoff at the height of his fame. Hoff the record. So David Carroll 110 says Hoff the record should get a mention. It was broadcast on Sky around 2016 to 2018 and focused on a fictionalised version of the life of David Hasselhoff, a kind of inferior version of Curb Your Enthusiasm. It won an international Emmy, although goodness knows why. This was actually a British television comedy series featuring The Hoff, which premiered in 2015. It was mockumentary, fly-on-the-wall sort of style and portrayed a fictionalised version of Hasselhoff himself in the twilight of his career, venturing to the UK in pursuit of fresh prospects. The series garnered enough acclaim for Dave to commission a second season, not Hasselhoff, that's the channel Dave, which debuted on May 6th, 2016, and it continued the humorous exploration of Hasselhoff's exaggerated persona and his escapades in the British entertainment scene. I'm not going in. Hey, it'll look a lot better on the inside. Max, do you really think this is a good idea? David's gone into rehab for pretty much everything. You already released this? Of course I did. It's working. Oh my God. People used to hate you. You're an actor. Yeah. Play it up a bit. Enjoy the role. <sighs> And finally, Ducks and Coffee says, Has anybody mentioned Feel the Force, a hideous monstrosity of a comedy from the mid-noughties, hoping to capitalise on Michelle Gomez's bonkers but brilliant acting from vastly superior Green Wing? Totally awful. In this one, Sally Bobbins and Sally Frank are a dynamic duo of policewomen patrolling the streets of Scotland. They're often likened to modern-day equivalents of Cagney and Lacey or the Dukes of Hazard. Their no-nonsense boss, Sergeant Beasley, towers over them, perpetually exasperated by Bobbins and Frank's penchant for distraction. Mirror, mirror, signal. <laughs> The previous victim. Brother of. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Thought so. That's what I. Um. So I can't help noticing you didn't radio for me again. Correct. You're right. He is a maniac. Let's talk about Frank. Oh. What a twisted individual. Frank again. The murderer. I'd like to take you home and pop you up on my mantelpiece. In fact, you look great between my candlestick and my gnome's boots. <laughs> <laughs> the psychic? No, Mr. Bramwell lives in the bungalow next door. And there we have it, there's five more terrible TV shows as chosen by you the viewers, or hinted at by you the viewers, and I stuck May to December in there myself. Did I miss any out? You let me know in the comments below. You're not shy about doing that, are you? Hit the like button, please. Share this video with your friends and all that good YouTube-y stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Uh, that's fine. Bye for now.